Morning guys, Alex is here and we're working on the critter getter today. Uh, it's been a nightmare working on this thing because it's either way too hot or yesterday, as soon as we made a plan to try to do this, it started raining loads. But today, it's perfect. It's still hot, but we got the supervisor. <laughs> right now, we're building the floor for the critter getter. Let me check this out. Hey, Alex? Yeah. No. So, basically I stripped it down, took off these back seats. Uh, we're gonna rubberize it. I have the paint over here. But first we're gonna fit up the new floor. Then we're gonna fit up a wall, partition, and figure out what the tanks are gonna do. Uh, yeah, let's just get to work. Hmm? Critter Hunter. This carpet that I took out of the car, <laughs> it's actually going to make an awesome template for the floor. We got, what'd you call this? What kind of marine plywood? Santa Clara Marine. Santa Clara Marine Plywood. And it's going to make a perfect template for, well, for the floor. It goes around the curves and everything. And. Yeah, we're just checking it again with measuring, but it's going to be cool. In the bracket, so we can stack this one to the bracket. We make a lock for the bracket. Tell me when it's at 44. This, Put 44 on the edge? Yeah, this is 44. This one here. I'm just putting it at 44 and a quarter. Give us a little line, but... Um... Like grade 1 section 11 line. <laughs> <laughs> grade 1 section 11 line. You cut this one, okay? Cut it! Cut it! Cut it! Cut it! Cut it! Alex. God dang it, Alex. That that one's mine. <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's harder than it looks. So I got the floor all mocked up. It's kind of dark. It goes onto the seat, around all the curves, and then we're measuring how big the tank is because we're going to put a wall behind the tank that goes to the top of the seats, and then we'll have a shelf there. So right now we measured and we're cutting out cardboard templates for the wall so that we can once the template with the cardboard is perfect we can transport uh transform transfer it to the wood and then cut that out once it's ready is it and we're gonna build this whole shelf in the back hello we're gonna build the whole shelf in the back and then when everything is perfect, we'll take it all out, paint it, paint the floor with rubberizer, waterproof everything, put in a drain, all that. So, what are you, what are you doing, guys? How about you, Justin? Answer me. <laughs> I'm very busy. <laughs> so we finally got this template perfect to go around the wheel well. Uh, so I'm gonna mark it up. I'm gonna flip it backwards, Alex, yeah. and we'll trace that out. Then I'll set it in the car on both sides, and then we'll build cardboard. You know, make the perfect form. So I got these little metal brackets at the store. 
I'm just going to use these to set this in place. I'll tape them to the floor. Yeah, I just, <laughs> that's a good use for them, huh? I just put it on the bottom and we can put it on the sides. And then we'll build up the rest. Yeah, that's the spot. Alright, I'm going to go get the rest of the cardboard for the rest. So I want a 5 inch gap right here. So that I can put drawers right right here. I'll put it two walls. There'll be like a five inch shelf. I don't know if I'll put a door, just an open shelf right there to charge uh, phones or something. But yeah, I'd like to make this probably three. In Man, I wish those cardboards were taller because we only need like three more inches. So, the question is if I wanted to do flat shelf right there, and then at the back of the shelf all the way to the ceiling, because I know I definitely want to section off this back to the front. It'll make the front way cooler. I'm going to heat insulate it, sound barrier, everything, and the front's going to be really cool. And then if there's any... Uh, Water, I mean, I'm gonna prevent that, but I'm gonna make it drain. But you're never gonna get that, uh, you know, if there's like a standing water or moldy kind of smell back here, it won't go to the front. So, Alex, the question is, do I make it right there and then just put one wall all the way to the ceiling? Do you see that? Yeah, yeah, and then have my shelf like that. And then behind the seats, there's going to be a big empty space where I'm going to put the auxiliary battery and emergency tire kits and stuff like that. So that's what we got to figure out now. Can I have more? Goya oh. and Justin are like, look, they're making a layout to make it realistic pretty soon. But for now, they're using a cartoon, you know? A cartoon, guys. Okay, what time is it? It's like 2 o'clock, I think. It's 2 o'clock. Last time you said that. Yeah, uh, but I will try to check it out. I'm going to stop the video. So, we got the whole... Let's call it a partition template. Cut. It's not easy cutting the corners. Uh... I mean, when we take those brackets off, it'll be a perfect template for the wood. But cutting those corners, I basically, on that one, I just kept cutting it, kept cutting it until it was perfect. I'm not an engineer. Alex is a Filipino engineer, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> it looks awesome. Yeah. The tanks will fit here. And I'm going to put a wall, another wall, this way. So the tanks are on this side. And then there's drawers. On this side but I think that's gonna be another day because that's a lot of work just this much it was a lot of work um, we got to go get more wood and yeah let me look at this from be behind the seat looks cool and there's a gap probably five inches we're gonna build another wall and then like right here there'll be a shelf and I got new USBs I got I got lighting USBs uh, all kinds of stuff so that I can charge phones cameras video lights everything on the road 
And then up here, you can see there's like a, a little bit of a gap the whole way. It's about even and it's about a quarter inch or half inch maybe. Uh, that will be that will be filled in because on a later project I'm taking this headliner out and I'll be filling it with um, uh, what do you call it? Basically uh, heat proof soundproofing big mat uh, uh, with aluminum lined mat matting for the whatever it goes underneath the headliner so that'll be that'll fill in the gap a lot but then also it's gonna be really hard when that thing that wall is wood it's gonna be pretty hard to uh, get in there but yeah once everything's in there the headliner is thicker if there's any gap I'll fill it in we'll make this whole, I, I, I want to make this hole back in pretty much sealed from the front end that'll make the front way cooler uh, i already went through all that but yeah looks awesome so far i don't know if we're gonna finish today it's rainy and i gotta get another video up but it's a good start here's the uh rubberizer just remember this floor is uh it's not bolted in yet. I got the bolts and everything, but we're going to take it out when all the pieces are done. We'll take them out. I'm going to rubberize the floor and then I'm going to rubberize, you know, the metal floor. Then I'm going to rubberize our floor that we built, the walls, everything on this side at least, and make it waterproof, corrosion proof, rotting, everything proof. And on the inside, I have to build the shelves, the, uh, I don't know what to call it. I need to show you guys a drawing, but uh, on the inside, it'll have marine carpet or, you know, I should show you that too, but whatever. I'll do that later. The inside where people sit, I'll have carpet. The back half, scuba half will have rubberizer. It'll have stainless steel floor it'll have a drain and then maybe some mat she, he won't Judea wants me to put some mat waterproof mat that they use on the boat so we'll see right all right we use that cardboard template and we have the wood the partition wall made so that's the floor and the partition wall. And like I said, these are these are just rough right now. We're fitting them in, which took forever with a few tools we had. Uh, and then we got a lot more to build. So let me sh tell you plans for that. So I made this little drawing here in Premiere Pro so you guys can kind of get the idea of what I want to build here. And so, First off, I'll start here on the left. I want to put a little shelf above the wheel well. And on the very back, behind the wheel well, there's a perfect spot to put a 12 liter emergency O2 tank. And so I'm going to put it in there. And I'm not sure what I'm going to put on top of the shelf. Maybe I'll mount a fire extinguisher or something. And then you see the tank area. It'll fit three tanks wide and however many tall. And I put a little bitty drain right here, which is going to drain straight onto the road for any water. Of course, that floor will be covered in either stainless steel or something waterproof. Then we have the wall, and you'll see the wall has some, like, boot hangers and whatever I want. And that wall will be waterproof so water can just drip down. And then above that, I have a drying rack that I'll be able to hang my wet BCDs and wetsuits so that I don't have to sit around waiting for them to dry before we start driving. Now this shelf is pretty cool. The bottom drawer will be like for anything. Uh, it'll be a dry drawer and I can put extra masks, tools, uh, whatever I want, o-rings, uh, whatever. And then above that on the right I have a little drawer for the first aid kit. And then a little drawer to the left that I don't know what I'll use it for. 
Above that, I envisioned a open cupboard area where I could just toss in wet stuff like my boots or extra boots or whatever. Just just a place that it doesn't mind if it gets wet because you'll see on the left of that drawer there's like a drain slot. And I'll have that cubby like slightly tilted to the left so that it drains out that slot into the left compartment. And yeah, I'll put some extra boots or whatever in there. To the right of that boot area, I have a switch panel because I'm going to have a lot of lights and stuff like that going on that I want to be able to open the back and just hit some switches. Of course, I'll have two or three interior lights here in the back so I can light up the whole thing and that'll be on one switch. And then I'll also have lights on the roof rack eventually. I already have the lights, but I need to build the roof rack. And those will just kind of illuminate the sides, all four sides. And I, I want to have at least the back exterior light on a switch. So I'll just open that up and hit that switch and light up the rear. And maybe the sides as well. Although I'll have the same switches on the dash up front. Uh, I don't know what I'll use the other switches for. Maybe a water pump and I'll have a tank on the roof rack. I'm not sure yet. And then I have a USB plug-in port. So I could just plug in some, my lights or whatever in between dives if I want. Or my phone, whatever. And on top of that, that flat area, that's going to be my camera area. Um, like I said before, we've been testing the car out and... We never have anywhere to put our big camera rigs in between dives. We just, we've been putting a towel down and putting it on the hood of the car. But I'd like a more secure and clean and dry area. So I want this spot to be a camera area where we can set them. Not while we're driving necessarily, but in between dives while we're sitting around doing a surface interval and whatnot. I can even work on them up there, maybe change batteries and stuff. As you can see to the left, it also has a slot so that it, the cameras, when they're wet, it'll drain down to the left compartment. Um, and just so you know, for a future project, that window, actually both windows on the back, I'm going to replace with an aluminum window that opens up. So when we're on the dive, I can put the camera in from the back or we can open up that window It'll swing up and I'll be able to reach in and put in the camera onto that shelf through the window. The whole thing will just hinge upwards. So that'll be really awesome, but that's a whole nother project. And then above that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I just put a net for now, like some kind of utility net. Maybe I could put a sleeping bag or a tent or more duffel bags full of gear. I don't know. Just some more storage. And if you want to see the front view, it's going to look like this. Put the seats down. <laughs> so now this isn't even a good drawing. It took me about five minutes. But if you lift the back seat, you'll, you'll notice huge compartments on the bottom that go up pretty much the whole height of the seat. And on the right, on the driver's side, it's going to be eventually my electronic panels. I'm gonna have an auxiliary battery there on the floor. The whole thing will be waterproof. And then I'm gonna, I have a whole bunch of relays and fuses and things like that so that I can rewire everything and maybe even solar eventually. But that whole area, I'll just be able to tilt the seats forward and get to the electrical. It won't be under the hood where they, it's hot and all that. And on the left side, the left compartment on the bottom, that'll be like tools, uh, tire changing kit, lift, stuff like that. You know, probably it's, it's accessible, but not in my way and whatever. And then there's three shelves with no doors up uh, above the seat. And the short ones are short because they are above the headrests. And the one in the middle is taller because there's no headrest. It just goes in between the headrests. And the one in the middle has a whole bunch of USB and house AC charger plugins. So you can see why I need a whole 
auxiliary battery and relays and all that stuff because I'm going to have a whole bunch of electronics and plugins that I want to be able to charge on the road and not have to come home. I got all my video lights, dive cameras, above water cameras, phones, laptop, everything. So I'll be able to put them in these little compartments and charge them. And above that middle one is just a big light. So there you have it. I think that's it for today. Thank you, Alex, for all the help. Yeah, you're welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you. I know it's hard to explain my uh, my plans because I can't draw or anything. But I think you're starting to understand what's in my head now, right? <laughs> it's all weird in there. But it's looking awesome. At least now I could use it, even if we don't finish right away. Yeah. What do you think, Judea? looking good and it looks like an rv already <laughs> yeah and then when all the drawers are built all everything we got to take it all back out <sighs> spray the metal floor and spray all the wood rubberize it seal, seam sealer it and all that so anyways that pool is looking freaking awesome but it's a long day. I still have to edit a video to go out tonight because I'm doing daily videos. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.